reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Words of the Holy Father Certainly, the divine message would have filled Mary's heart with light and strength. Nevertheless, she found herself faced with a crucial decision to say yes to God, risking everything even her life, or to decline the invitation and continue along her ordinary journey. What does she do? She responds thus, Let it be to me according to your word. Let it be. But in the language in which the gospel is written, it is not simply let it be. The verbal expression indicates a strong desire it indicates the will that something happen. In other words, Mary does not say, if it has to happen, let it happen. If it cannot be otherwise, it is not resignation. She is a woman in love, prepared to serve her Lord completely and immediately.